Greetings everyone, my name is LG and this is Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch walkthrough on the Sony PlayStation 3. Last time I arrived to Ding Dong Dell, this beautiful city, and someone just stole the holy wood which I received from the Khalifa. And the star just shows me that I should go inside this place. So let's go and check out what can we find inside. Hmm? Someone here? Oh! Uh, there is the wood! Hi! Oh, hello there! Oh dear, you look quite worked up. What's ruffled your feathers? Some dirty rotten thief pinched our... Hold on a minute, look over by there, holy boy. It's the holy wood. Where did you find it, sir? Ah, uh, is that what caught your eye? Pretty, isn't it? I thought it would make a rather nice window display. Flipping window display? That's holy wood, that is. Don't tell me you were planning on wedging weapons in it. You were, weren't you? Mr. Cotermaster, sir, that Hollywood is ours. It was stolen from us. Stolen? But I've only just bought it, and for a price that would make your eyes water. Don't tell me I've been rugged. Afraid, so, man. Whoever sold it to you must have pinched it from us, ain't it? Ah, I should have been more cautious. I did wonder how he could have come by such a valuable item. So you know the person who sold it to you, sir? It was that young mouse. The one with the glasses. He's always coming round here hawking his wares. Glasses? But I never thought he was a thief. No, just because you so he's guilty. That doesn't make it true. If you want me to believe you, you are going to have to bring me some proof. But, but how can we do that? There's only one thing for it, Ollie boy. We are going to have to catch, catch, catch that mouse and get him to confess. Oh, uh, okay, let's do that. We'll get you your proof, sir. Please do it quickly. I'd hate to think I was handling stolen goods. Alrighty, a mouse here in the city? Mm. Is that Hikari? The mouse, someone? Uh, will be fought at, well, the beginning of this game. There are four aging spots dotted all over the world. You should investigate them whenever the opportunity presents itself. Huh? Huh? Um. I'm not quite sure. The thing is at the right place. Or maybe. Uh, I have an idea. Maybe I have to go up here. Yep, that will be the case. Ooh, no, this is not Hickory Duck. Hello, Hick, leave me alone. Oh, you little pipsqueak. You are the one who tried to take a quick gilder selling the holy wood, aren't you? Squeak, how did you find me? Uh, I'll never do it again, honest. Never ever, and my name's not Pip. Pip? But why? What made you start stealing? I needed the m money, didn't I? Not that uh, it's any of your blanking business. How am I going to make my dreams come true if I'm broken, eh? Your dreams? That's no excuse for stealing. What kind of dreams do you have anyway? Nice try, dum-dum. You think I'm telling you? 
I know you will just laugh at me for being a silly little mouse with big ideas. Crikey, bit blooming touchy, ain't we? There's no need to be so flipping defensive, mouse face. Well, we did just corner him to be fair. Anyway, let's color the little runt and head back to the quartermaster store, shall we? Wait a second, you guys. It is just me, or does Pip really remind you of somebody? Mm, don't tell me. This guy is Philip? Pip Philip? <laughs> From Motorville? Mm, you mean he might share a soul with someone back in Motorville? I think so, but I'm just not sure who it could be. Um, Pip. Would you mind telling us a little more about your dream? We won't laugh at you, I promise. Why should I? You can't tell me what to do. Why should I take orders from a big baby who slept with a stupid doll? What? Is it true, Oliver? No, no, I don't sleep with a doll anymore. Ha <laughs> ha, how grown up of you. But I bet you still drag it around with you everywhere in case you get scared at night, you big baby. I do not, I told you. I don't sleep with Dole anymore. I stopped taking Mr. Rippy to bed almost a year ago. Oh? Ha ha ha! Now you have done it, dum dum. You all hurt him, didn't you? I bet your girlfriend's really impressed now. Stop being mean, she's not my. Uh, and I don't sleep with a doll. Cut it out, will you? Just cut it out, Phil. Eh? Uh, did you just call him Phil? That mangy mouse name is Pip. I... Uh, I'm sorry, it just... What he said, it sounded just like Phil when he's being mean. Blimey! Well, you know what that means. I don't know what you are on about. All I know is... You'll never catch me. This rotten rodden is starting to get on my nerves. She is not making things easy for us, is he? What are we going to do, Oliver? Well, it took me a while to work it out, but there's no mistake. He can be kinda mean and real stubborn, but he's still my best friend. I'm talking about Phil. Tidy! I think we have got our man. Just goes to show if you have got a big bully for a soulmate, you must just turn out to be a nasty piece of work too. Mm, I get it. Something must be going on with his soulmate to have made this mouse turn to a little to a life of crime. I feel kinda bad. It's been a while since I saw Phil. I hope he's okay. Let's go and see Phil in Motorville. Come on, Oliver. There's no time to waste. Alrighty, so... Let's create a gateway. And go to Phil. We didn't sell him since the accident happened. You know, at the beginning, uh, he made that car. And Oliver and... Philip were trying it out when the accident happened. Oliver was driving the car and he fell into into a pond because one of the tires were just loose and yeah, that's when Ooh, he's not here. And that's when uh, Oliver's mom saved Oliver and after that sadly she died. It's Alicia. This was the beginning of the game, the starting story, let me say so. Oh, and Philip is right in front of uh, Oliver's house. What's up, man? Phil! Oh, it's you. Come to get even, huh? Even? Even for that? All I wanted was to build an auto all of my own. Hot rod faster and finer than my other. Sure you did, Phil. It was what we both wanted. But my dream, it... It killed somebody. Gee... Uh, it... It killed your mom. 
Don't say that, Phil. Don't ever say that. It wasn't your fault. I don't want to worry you, Oli boy, but there is a funny look in your mate's eye. Oh, another nightmare? Yeah. Yeah. Phil! Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, by the way. I didn't mention that uh, I metamorphed, well, all of my creatures and trained a bit, but, well, this might be a bit hard fight like this. Here goes. Let's try it out. Ill will. Let's defend. Or not. Let's use some arrow of light. Ooh, cool. One more. Ooh, that hurts, man. All right, back to Mitty. Esther, would you please heal me a bit? Ah, thank you. Well, it seems that this guy is uh, not so active, at least till now. Ill will. Oh, this wasn't. Oh, I don't know what happened. Okay, let's go to Oliver. Let's try this fortune's fool out. What can this be? Oh. I just casted something on, on Swainy? Ah, uh, that's... It's not so cool. Ooh, Reign of Terror, let's defend. Ooh. Well, this wasn't so hmm, tragical. Let's say it like that. Um, but Swain has some poison, so I will just uh, remove it from him. Ill will. Let's continue with Arrow of Light. I would like to try out something. What happens if I. No, I cannot heal. Heal him. Well, anyway. Arrow of light. Oh, that hurts a lot. Rain of terror. Oh. Um. Something happened. Ooh, Swain is silenced, Aster is uh, slowed maybe? Cursed. But nothing happened to Oliver. So I can continue. Ill will. Uh, I will heal myself. Nito. Ah, you know what? Mete! Let's go and attack this guy. Nice. So, Phil's nightmare is over. The 
That's cool. Nido! But still, I can understand why he is so depressed. By the way, I just would like to mention that uh, while I was leveling up in the off time, I found some creature uh, near Perdida, and that creature, well, I fought with it like uh, 15 seconds, not uh, not more, and it gave more than 8.6k EXP. I don't know uh, what happened, by the way. There, maybe there are some rare creatures around the world, and oh yeah, this this happens now a lot of times. Well, it seems if uh, if you receive some some new ability, then you have to choose and forget something and learn something new. A heartfelt prayer restores the speaker's health and cures alignment. That sounds cool. Um, which one should I? I will just replace it with uh, hmm. bubble bath Heavy bubbles if low then then water damage to nearby enemies. Yeah, I will change this. Alrighty. So a lot of us just leveled up. So back to the rare monsters. Maybe there are some uh, lurking around which will give us uh, a lot of uh, EXP fail! Ah, all of it. It's all my fault. Flipping heck, the poor lad still broken hearted. Phil, you must really hate me, Ollie. I guess we are not friends anymore, huh? No, I I never said that. It should have been me it should have been me in the car. It should have been me in the river. That way your mom would never have to save you. That way she'd still be alive. You can't think like that, Phil. It won't change anything. What was I thinking, trying to build a car? If I hadn't built that hunk of junk, none of this would have ever happened. Phil, this isn't what my mom would have wanted. She wouldn't want to see you like this. We were trying to make our dreams come true. We were trying to make the neatest car in the whole world, remember? Our dreams? Ah, who cares about that? But, didn't you listen to a word I said? Your mom's dead because of our dumb dreams. So, what do I do now? Build another car, mess it up again, get somebody else, get them. I... I can't. Listen to me, Phil. My mob would never want us to give up on our dreams. I just know it. You remember all those times we'd speak into the car factory? Remember the old guy we made friends with there? The engineer? He told us all about cars, didn't he? And we promised him we would make a car better than anything Motorwheel had ever seen. Sure, my mom used to tell us we had cars on the brain, but when she heard us talk about our dream, she'd smile. She never really got mad at us, did she? I remember. She wanted us to follow our dreams. I know she did. Follow. Follow our dreams. I know it's what my mom would have wanted. You can't give up on your dreams. Huh? Well, I never. I didn't see this one coming, golly boy. It's your own heart that's making the locket glow. Your heart brimming with ambition. 
I should have known. But, but what can I supposed to do? Can I really take a piece of my own heart? Well, it can't hurt to try now, can it? And it will make a change from borrowing from other folks. Go on, man, give it a go. Oh, uh, okay, here goes. Oh, this is kinda... Kinda weird, but... Kinda right, too. So, folks, this is... The last part, or last heart piece we can get. Ambition. Jeepers Creepers, that sure felt strange. I guess that must be how all the people who helped us felt, huh? Nice one, Ollie boy. I told you it was worth a try, didn't I? Hold on, Phil. There is something I need to share with you. How can you say we should follow our dreams? It's thanks to my crummy dreams that your mom... Ollie boy, give him that ambition you got of yourself before he drives me party, will you? Yes, I'll fix him with a piece of my own heart. Ah, uh, that's, that's really nice. Real friends would do the same. So, as I mentioned before, as you can see, we know all the heart pieces now. That's really cool. Let's give ambition to Phil. I'm so bored. You're putting me on huh? What did you... Uh, what is this? I feel kinda warm inside. I don't know what's wrong with me, Oli. I just can't. I just can't stop crying, but I feel all warm and fuzzy too. You know what that is, Phil? That's my mom trying to tell you something. She's telling you to never give up on your dreams. Never give up? That's right. Oh, we don't want to let you, my mom down, do we? And we don't want to let my mom down, do we? So, that means we have to keep on going, keep on chasing after our dreams. I... I can't let my mom down. I won't. You're right, Oli. I won't give up. I won't give up on my dreams. On our dreams. And that's... that's a promise, Oli. Phil. Uh, Oli... <laughs> I'm going to study hard and go to college. Then I'm going to build a car that's safe, a car people can rely on. You see, if I don't... You'll hold me to that, won't you, Oli? Sure I will, Phil. Now, there is one more, one other thing I gotta tell you, Oli. If you're gonna keep dressing like a weirdo... <laughs> I, can't, uh, I can't be seen with you. Huh? Oh, these clothes, I... Uh, it's not what you think. Uh, it's okay, really. If you want dressed like crazy, who am I s uh, to stop you? Now, I got the important things to do. See you around, kiddo. To tell you the truth, Oli boy, I didn't know if nabbing a nugget of your own heart was going to work. Well, it looks like it worked fine, Mr. Rippy. Feels back to his old self. I've been waiting for ages. Where is he? Oh, B. Huh? Eh? What's wrong with him all of a sudden? Oliver, I've been waiting. Where were you? P. What are you doing here? This is my house. P. You mean P is here right now? Yes, she came right out of my house, but how did you get inside? Easy fizzy, I can open any door I like. Uh, listen P, I'm not sure I understand. 
What are you waiting for? You silly. I've got something to tell you. Oliver, are you sure you will be alright whatever happens? Even if you find out the truth? Oh, some twist comes. The... the truth? I'm worried about you, Oliver. Are you sure you'll be alright? Well, I'm not exactly sure what it is you are worried about, P. But as long as my friends are with me, I'll be fine. You don't have to worry about me. Good. Oh, Oliver, what is it? I'll always watch... I'll always watch over you. Okay? Th thanks. So, what did Peef have to say, Oliver? We only heard what you said. She said she was worried about me, so I told her that I had my friends with me and that I was going to be okay. Of course you are, early boy. You have got the Lord High Lord of the Fairies on your side, ain't it? Ah, and don't forget me. We have been through a fair few scrapes, but we are only going strong, aren't we? Ha! As if he'd forget you, Swainy. Thanks, you guys. That means a lot. Now, Phil's back to his old cell, so let's go see Pip. Right, back to go. Back we go to Ding Dong Dell. Hmm. I really wonder what uh, what was P meaning about knowing the truth. Hmm. Are we really prepared for that? I really wonder. But we will see. After the loading screen, of course. Good day. Ah, where do I have to go? Oh! Hmm. Hello. Ha! But dear. We are inches away from our dinner coming through at le last. What's the matter with you? Nothing the matter, I just... I just think this whole shop thing might be no more than a silly fantasy. What's wrong? Are you two fighting? Not exactly, it's just... Well, my wife has started acting strangely all of a sudden. Until yesterday she was all fired up about our dream of owning a shop, but suddenly she's changed her mind. Oh dear, dear me, loss of shared goals, sudden mood swings, classic signs of a marriage on the rocks, those are. Mr. Rippy, I was only joking like, she's obviously heartbroken, ain't it? Lost her ambition she has. Let's help her. They're so close to achieving their dream, we have to help them the last step of the way. That's the spirit, Oli boy. Now get out there and grab some ambition. Okie dokie. So, where do I have to go? To the top of the building. Yeah, these guys were following us uh, through all places. In the off time, I helped them a lot. The last time I met them at uh, uh, Perdida. Perdida, yeah. Hi there, Pip. Eek! It's you. Look, I'm really sorry. That thing I stole, it was really important, wasn't it? Huh? What a flipping transformation, man. Looks like this mouse really is your pal s pal's soulmate. The thing is, I've already sold it. I, I sell things to the local shopkeepers, you see. I just don't know what to do. Don't worry, Pip. Let's just explain to the shopkeeper what happened. I'm sure he'll understand. I'm so sorry, Oliver. Ah, you are back, I see. And we have caught ourselves a thief. Come on, Pipsqueak, out with it. This piece of wood, it was me. I stole it. You stole it? 
A little chap like you? He confessed, didn't he? That mouse stole it and sold it to you, the rotter. I haven't step spent any of the money. I promise I'll give it all back to you. Well, I sense this is an item of some value to you and that its loss has caused you some distress. I hate to see it go, but I know where it belongs. Okay, we have our Hollywood back. Well, that's sorted then. We are lucky the shopkeeper wasn't in the mood to rook us. You know, Pep, I can't believe you turned themsel yourself in, a in and returned the money. And you call yourself a, yourself a thief? I am no thief, I'm telling you. It was just a moment of madness. I'm so, so sorry. I'll do anything to make it up to you. I mean it. Listen, it's okay. We got it back in the end. Oh, I almost forgot. You said that your dreams had driven you to become a thief. That's right, I've got big dreams, but they don't come cheap. I need guilders, and lots of them. Have you ever heard of something called a cloud sweeper? It's that sort of flying broom covered by magic. Powered by magic. Not my kind of thing. Well, it's my kind of thing, that's for sure. Even since I was little, I have always wanted to build my very own cloud sweeper. I want to build the fastest, bestest cloud sweeper in the whole world. Is it just me, or does he really remind me of someone? He sure does. Say, Pip, building something that goes real fast is super neat, eh? Ha! Finding someone who understands me. Thanks for taking the time to hear me talk about my dreams. Now I need to save up some money. The honest way. Good luck, Pep. Neat. Asking Tom to carve the Hollywood. That's the next stop. This was a nice... Well... Side... Side part of the main quest line. Still, I kind of understand how uh, Philip was feeling. You know, it's always hard to see if if you've done something bad and you hurt someone. Well, actually, here in this case, you killed someone. Well, not directly, but it's still still a bit terrible hi King Tom long time no see eh. it's good to see you again your majesty hmm ah oh, you have returned how the devil have you been one has been busying oneself with that rogue hickory d unless one is very much mistaken you come bearing the holy wood of alma moon that's right and we wanted to ask favor of you your meow jesty no need to continue dear girl one knows precisely why you are here so the caliph chose to entrust the holy wood to you. It seems the time has come to reunite the power of the three kingdoms. Now, dear boy, allow one to do one's royal duty. <laughs> Carved holy wood. Well, <laughs> that was a nice process, by the way. Wow, that was amazing. Mia, yeah. well, surely you expected nothing less. Thank you, your Mia, Justy. It sure has been great seeing you, but we have to head to Hamelin now. So, Marcus is up next. 
Here's hoping he's ba been practicing his carpentry. Why are you mumbling to yourself, Swain? So, you are off to heaven, hmm? Take care, won't you? It's a rather grubby place for one so very pure. Alrighty, uh, this is kind of funny. By the way, what happened with this uh, piece of wood? Uh, let me just check it. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Okay. Oh, here it is. Well. Alright, I, I, I don't know what that is, by the way. Let's talk with the guard. The people of this kingdom are bursting with enthusiasm and it's all thanks to you. Oh ho! Well, what do you say? Once clouds allow one to be quite the craftsman, eh? Some have mocked the Clarion's unusual shape, but they clearly have neither. Ethetic sense. Okay, so that sense. Nor an appre appreciation of fine craftsmanship. Ah. Alrighty. By the way, you have a nice place where you live. Oh. Is this a big fish, by the way? A lot of big fishes around. They are uh, like like holding the building or the uh, upper part of, of this place. There are there is sometimes when I'm looking for words. I'm sorry for that, but yeah, I'm still learning this language and. Yeah, I think I'm going in a good way, but sometimes I just need some practice. By the way, I think I learn a lot from this game because when I'm editing the videos, then I'm just uh, looking for the unknown words and I really hope that uh, next time I'm not standing before the words like like now and oh what is this word what does it mean hmm. well I hope later on it will get much better and much smoother alrighty so I have to go to Hamelin now yeah. Ooh, and the ship is here. Ah, where is it? Ooh, actually, that's nice. I did not think that uh, this place is, is uh, connected to the ocean, but at least I know it now. Um, yeah. Just, uh, just some seconds. I would like to show you the uh, the new guys in the group. So we saw Mitty. He's already metamorphed a long time ago, and here is Lemo. Yeah, he looks kind of bluish and yellowish, but it's really cool. Here is Collie. He looks really bad. Hmm. Really cool. And here is Zom. He's metamorphed too. And here is our slug. The little big horn and then big horn and now uh, I don't know how he's called now. Gogo. Gogo looks really serious. Hmm. <laughs> 
I think uh, you saw Gunter before, metamorphed. And this is Purr. The lost state of, of Purr. And we did not really talk about this guy. Jabbo, he is a, an errant familiar. I have to level it up for till 40. Um, and then I have to. Well, I don't know what I have to do with him. I think later on I can keep him. But. Well, we will see. We will see. Alrighty, so, Hamelin, let's go. Let's go there. Oh, and I received uh, a lot of items too, but well, uh, they are not so not so important. Yeah, I have to go to the palace to Marcuson, so I will use the teleport here. Let's go. By the way, uh, I don't really like Hamelin. This is just uh, too mechanical. Uh, let's talk with this uh, woman. Uh, where is it? Spirit medium. Here's the Xana, the uh, Xana Duwian guard. Tell me, did you find her? Did you find Queen Kulan? Hold your horses. We'll tell you everything once we have gathered our thought together. I'm sorry. Please forgive my impatience. Then, it is as I thought. Queen Kulan lives. And judged by your account, Alf survived too. Oh, you described him so perfectly. Truly, this day is filled with the gladdest of tidings. Alf? You mean that guard who met? Yes, that is he. For many years we protected our queen, shoulder to shoulder. Alf and his Abyssinian. When the Dark Jin struck, we fought to save her. And when the end came, I implored him to protect Queen Kulan till his dying breath. Though her heart was cruelly broken, still off watched over her. That's all very well, but you went and flipping died, didn't you? That can't have done been your... Uh, that can't have done your relationship much good. No, nothing can change that. Yet I take solace from the fact that Alf and our queen still li live. In any case, it has done me good to speak with you, and who knows, I may yet see Alf again. Hang about, only wizards and that can see ghosts, meaning your feller wouldn't be able to see you even if you did bump into Mr. Rippy. Ha, huh, it's alright, your fairy friend is correct, but even though he could not see me and we could not speak, I could watch over him. Now, I wish to reward you for all the glad things you have brought me. Please take this. Gust Plum. Gust Plum? I think I need that for one errand. Thank you very much, but uh, what is this? This is an elegant feather that the royal guards of Xana would do of and I each cherished ours. Gee, I suppose to I sure hope you get to meet him again and Queen Kulan. Thank you, I hope so too. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes uh, it's really, really good to speak with uh, the people who gave you some, some quests and so on. Maybe I have to go back to Darkwood soon too. I mean, not so long ago I was there and talked with the old tree face, but 
Maybe now I can tell him some more stories. Biggies! And maybe he will... He will be happy. Reward us with something. Hmm. And here we go. There is Marcuson. Hi. Hello, Marcuson. We need you to finish carving something for us. Hello, Marcuson. Uh, I'm really confused. Uh, when we first met, well, after we traveled back from the time, he asked us to not call him Majesty and and so on and, and Prince Marcuson. And then before, when we got here. We were uh, Oliver and Esther and Sweeney were addressing him, uh, him as Prince and Majesty and so on. And now again, nothing. But of course, Marcuson told us right at the first time that uh, they should not address him. Well, anyway, I'm talking too much. Flipping heck! Someone didn't go to fishing school. Heard of your word, please? Have you? Ha! I do enjoy your visit. There is a certain liveliness you bring to every occasion. Now you mentioned carving something. Yes, your majesty. Esther was talking about the clarion. That's right, we need you to help us finish it so we can clear a path across the miasma marshes. Uh, I see. Well, you have, to have come to the right place. The clarion may only be completed by the ruler of Hamelin. But I'm afraid there is a major problem, namely that he does not possess all of the skills required. Huh? How do you mean, your majesty? To complete, to complete the clarion, one must possess not only magical power, but the talent to carve the necessary holes. While I may have the magical skills, I am unable to help with the more practical aspects of the process. So, you are saying you are too clumsy to complete the clarion. Uh, it's not the matter of clumsiness, I assure you. No, the skills that are required are passed from Emperor directly to his, his hair. Gee, so your father passed away before he could teach you about this stuff, huh? Well then, we'll just have to go back in the time and get him to teach you. Blinky heck, you make it sound so flipping easy. You only get to use bridge time once in a lifetime, remember? Ah, uh, you're right. Well then, what do we do? Aren't you forgetting someone? Swain, do you mean? Truly? Did he? Well, I can't promise miracles, but father did teach me a few things, yeah. Oh yes, your father. Did he, um, come from his kingdom too? Only in your never mentioned. Ah, alright, alright. I just didn't want to make a big deal of it. Yes, Marcusin's my brother and my real name's Gaskin. There, I've said it. Oh, that. We knew that already. We were there, you know. Then why are you so hellbent on getting me to admit it? Anyway, we can discuss the whys and wherefores later on. The point is my father taught me what I need to know. And you're telling us this now? If you'd let us know a bit earlier, we wouldn't have had to come all the way to Hamelin, would we? I'm afraid it's not that simple. I can't do the magic part, you see. Flipping heck. So, you are no user used to us either, is it? That is not quite true. Uh, so you know what I'm getting at, do you? I suppose it's not all bad having a brain box of a great sage for a brother. Ah, oh, I'm not sure. I understand. What cannot be done alone may yet be done together. Is that not so, brother? 
Oh, I get it. You're going to make it together. Exactly. Now, give it here. Are you ready, Marcuson? We have got work to do. Yes, brother, I'm ready. Hmm. <sighs> wow, uh. that thing sure seems powerful. Yes, and they work so well together. <sighs> wow. I obtained the Clarion! Yay! Now we can finally clear a path to Shadar's castle. Thank you, your majesty, and thank you too, Swain. Oh, don't worry about thanking me, but how long is it since we last made something together, Marcuson? Ha! Don't you remember the model pig tank we made together? Brr! Blooming pig tank! That's the last begging thing I want to be reminded of. Ha! You'll hear no arguments from me on that score. Anyway, let's focus on the task ahead, clearing the Mia's McMashes. The clarion looks so beautiful, I can't wait to hear how it sounds. I think you should be the one to play it, Esther. Yeah, Oli Boy's right. If you ask me, there ain't no better woman for the job. I agree, I mean, I would love to do it, but I'm tone deaf. I... I'll do it. I'll play the Clarion and clear the path through the Miasma Marshes. I truly believe you will, Aster. Thank you, your majesty. Come on, Oliver. We should get going. You're right. It's time to head to... Miasma Marshes. Alrighty. And a new story in Wizard's Companion has been unlocked. Wow. And the flute makers. Mm. That's really nice. Alrighty. Uh, let's just get out from this place. Let's go to the palace entrance. And before I go, I just would like to check around this place. Maybe there are some things I can do. You no, know, those two were here before too. Well, anyway, let's see our locket. We have no heart pieces at all. Well then, here is the teleport. Did I mention that all cities or towns should uh, equip this kind of teleports? It would be much easier to run around. Okie dokie, so where do I have to go? Ah, so back to Perdida. Let's go back to Perdida. Nice. Neat. Ooh, let's talk with this guy. Oh well, to, yeah, talked with him before. Oh, no, the Lapaka owner. What's up? It's no good. I will never be a Lalapaka herder. Gee, what's the matter? You sure do look sad about something. I do not care anymore. Why should I spend my days chasing after stupid Lalapakas? I could become the greatest Lalapaka herder in Perdida, but so what? It does not matter to anybody. Well, gee, I think it does matter. I mean, you would be going an important job and everybody would respect you. Listen to him, sunshine. They are wise words. They are... I thought you well, Oli boy. Being the best Lapaka herder in Perdida would be swell, wouldn't it? Um... Maybe. I no longer know. I no longer spend my days dreaming about herding my Lapakas. 
through the fields at sunset. Well, you know what this is? A case of, don't you, Ollie boy? Poor Les lost his ambition, ain't it? Broken heart it is. Okay, so we can't just leave him like this. We have to help him get his ambition back. Nice one, Ollie boy. Let's see if there is a chunk of ambition somewhere around this place. Ooh, a cake. And there is someone. Maybe, maybe he has the, or she has the ambition. Ooh, the flower girl. Tra la 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 la. Gee, you surely have a pretty nice voice. Thank you, but it's not very good enough. I need to practice more. Wow, and you are really determined too, huh? Are you practicing for a concert or something? Well, yes, in a way. When my singing gets better, I would love to sing for everyone. Then I will travel to Alma Moon and become the most famous singer in the whole world. Jeepers, you sure do think big. But if you work real hard, I'm sure your dreams will come true someday. Look, Ollie boy, your luck is outshining my lantern. This girl's got ambition to spare, not to mistake. Um, listen, if you don't mind, we would like to ask a favor. A favor? Well, I will try to help as well. Would you mind closing your eyes for just a couple of seconds? <laughs> this game is fun. Now I will close my eyes. And what will you do with her, Ollie boy? Just take her heart. Stole it. You did it. Okay, ambition. We have it. See, what happened? My heart it tickled a bit. Let's give this uh, heart piece to that guy. And maybe he will be the best lullapaka herd. All set, Oli boy, we have to give heart. Yeah, let's give heart. Ambition. Ay ay ay, I feel very different. What did I worry about? I forget. No matter, my precious lulapakas must be led out to pasture. I have no time to waste. Now there is one lulapaka loving lad. Looks like he's back to his old self. He sure does. Hopefully now he'll make his dream come true. <laughs> Thank you for listening to me. Talking with you really helped. Please take this. Thank you. Ooh, all begins. That sounds cool. And a lot of stamps, of course. Nice. Um, by the way, I just uh, would like to show you that. Uh, ooh. Yeah, uh, I bought all of these, uh, not this one. I'm still waiting for for the, uh, the remaining ones. I don't know what will trigger them. But yeah, they might be really interesting. I have 27 uh, cards. Um, so I really hope that it will be enough for some. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let's go. Check this place again. Nothing interesting. And uh, before I go, I think I will just stand next to uh, Miss Miss uh, Kulan. So the clarion is complete. There is a there is only a matter of time before the Whale of Miasme is parted. So, Miss Kulan, I will just uh, stand right here. And thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this part of the Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. 
and yeah please put your comments down below and give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down thanks for watching again new part will come really soon goodbye